this vlog is going to be a little bit different from previous vlogs. Um, I got this idea because I've seen actually like a few content creators do something like this. And every time I've seen it, I've been like, that is a great idea. Not like, I mean, partially for content, obviously, because I decided to do it. Um, but mostly I was like, for life, like, that's a good idea. By the title, you already probably know what this is going to be. But so I'm swapping my average screen time on my phone for reading time. Good video idea, clearly I'm doing it, but also like way to get my life in order. <laughs> and because I'm making content out of it, that like motivates me to actually do it instead of being like, theoretically I should swap screen time for reading time. But because it's a video, then I feel like pressure, like obligated to actually stick to that. Anyway, so my average screen time, I'm gonna use not last week, but the week before because last week, I was scrambling to like finish books that I had lives for. So I was, my screen time was actually down last week because I was like trying to finish books right before the live. So that's not actually really an accurate representation of like what norm my, my normal screen time is like. My average screen time the week before last was six hours and 15 minutes a day, meaning on my phone. That is wild. <laughs> this will be a little bit tricky because a lot of that, I mean, it's cumulative and a lot of it is like when I'm like working or doing whatever, then like, you know, I finish a work task and I treat myself to like scrolling through Instagram for however long. And then like, and then when I'm not working, I also do it. And then when I'm listening to audiobooks, I'm sometimes scrolling. So like cumulatively that adds up. And also some, I mean, if it's an audiobook that I'm listening to while I'm doing that, it is, also reading time. So like it is, I'm not trying to say it's not bad, it's very bad, but like, yeah. Anyway, so the way I'm gonna approach this, this week, basically every time that I would normally be picking up my phone, I'm gonna have a book next to me or my audiobooks. So like um, this week's books. <laughs> and then if I get through these, then I have obviously others on my TBR. But um, I need to finish the last argument, or start and finish the last argument of Kings, which is obviously a reread. But we're recording the podcast episode for it this weekend, so I need to get this one done. Not that I really need to, because like I read that this will be my hey cat, stop it. This will be my fourth time reading it. Anyway, so this will be my audiobook for this week, and then my physical book, Jade City by Fonda Lee. So basically, my plan is that when while I'm working, which is again when a lot of this like incidental screen time happens, I'll have a book next to me. Cat, stop it. I'll have a book next to me. <laughs> So that instead of scrolling through Instagram for five minutes, ten minutes, more, shh, don't tell my boss, I will read a chapter of Jade City. Alternatively, I will listen to, like if I decided to, hey, stop it. Alternatively, if I want to like use my break to like go and get a couple. Cat! It's not toys for kitties. Come here, come here, come here. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Oh, I'm dangerous. <laughs> okay. Anyway, alternatively, if I am using my break to like get up and do something like go get a cup of coffee, go get a snack, um, whatever, then I'll listen to a chapter or say like 15 minutes of the audiobook for The Last Argument of Kings. And then obviously when I'm done with work, then that's pretty straightforward. Instead of being on my phone <laughs> scrolling mindlessly, I will be either listening to this, in which case I will not be scrolling through my phone while I listen. I will, I don't know, do something more productive. TBD on what that would be. Maybe uh, meal prepping for the following day. That's a good thing to do. Anyway, or, you know, physically reading Trade City. So that's the plan. And uh, basically six hours a day reading <laughs> instead of scrolling through my phone. Um, should really increase the amount of reading that I can get done in a week. Obviously, I still am going to check social media. So for that too, I'll set a timer. And I think like in the morning, I'll set a timer for like 10 minutes to like check messages, reply to messages, etc. And then like around noon, five minutes. And then before, uh, like in the evening at some point, not like right before bed, because that's a bad idea. But like in the evening sometime, also 10 minutes to like check messages, reply to messages, etc. That is the plan this week and we'll see how we go. Just time for a quick update uh, before the live show I have tonight, which starts in like 15 minutes. <laughs> so I have hit my goal basically today because I failed to mention in my intro that today is the last day of February and the last book I had to finish was Ship of Destiny and I had six hours um, at the speed at which I was listening to it, I had six hours left, like accounting for the speeding up, six hours left <laughs> in the audiobook. Um, 
So I did finish it today. I woke up at like 6 a.m. and I start work at 9. So I listened to it for three hours before I started work and then listened to it like here and there throughout my day. So I did finish Ship of Destiny. Um, so much to unpack. So I've already, I was also chatting with Mara about it since she finished it um, before I did this month. I was behind. So we were kind of like unpacking our thoughts. And um, she and I are gonna be chatting about live ship versus Farseer sometime soon-ish date is TBD as of the filming of this clip. But anyway, yeah. And then I did, since I finished my TBR for February and I still had, you know, hours left today, I started Last Argument of Kings. So I already hit the six hours that I was aiming for with this. And then I've listened to not quite two hours in the audiobook and I listened to it at triple speed. So whatever that math comes out to. So six plus hours today have been consumed. But I do have a live tonight, and uh, I don't think I'm going to read anything after that. So we did it today. Oh, my screen time has been a little high because I did have to talk to Mara about the end of the live ship traders. So I had to use phone for that. Um, but yeah, day one of this, I would say, is a success. So day two is the first day of March. So I get to start on my March TBR, which is all ready for me to go over there. Um, but I must dash to the Murakami Live on Hillary's channel. Happy Tuesday. I thought we'd have a quick chat over breakfast. Um, I did my, I checked my stats. Hey, stop that. For yesterday. I decided to like sort of log it because I figured by the end of the week I'd forget. Or it'd be harder to figure it out. Especially for like, I mean, screen time, my, my phone tracks it. But anyway, um, so yesterday I did, I calculated it. Um, it was only audiobooks. Um, and I did six hours and 37 minutes of reading listening so zero time physically reading and um my screen time was actually over three hours yesterday now like i wanted to blame this on the fact that i was chatting on voxer with mara about uh, ship of destiny because i finally finished it and that was a chunk of it it's not like it wasn't but that was my third most used app yesterday my top two most used apps yesterday were instagram at the very top as usual and then discord and then voxer and like today i know i've used instagram quite a bit because um we're trying to schedule a podcast episode and so like we're doing it via instagram so like that's not my fault but i did wake up before my alarm this morning and um all the time but i couldn't get back to sleep so the time between me waking up and my alarm going off i just like decided to give myself some phone time because of course i did then on tuesdays and thursdays i try before work uh to spend a couple hours uh, replying to my comments on my channel and watching other people's youtube videos and like catching up on watching and commenting because like i mentioned in other videos that like i wanted to like set specific time aside for doing that instead of just being like when i have time because then i never will have time anyway so i did that this morning woke up was on my phone for a while then made coffee and like replied to comments and commented myself and now i've made breakfast and um but I also, you know, figured out, calculated my screen time versus reading time. And now I'm going to finish this breakfast and I uh, have to go to the office today. So to and from, I will be obviously listening to Last Argument of Kings. And um, I'm hoping to use my lunch today to film some videos. So that's happening. And then, yeah, this evening I have no plans besides probably editing one of those videos, if I'm honest. But um, I'll try to squeeze in some physical reading time since I haven't done any of that yet. And I'm sure you're anxious to know what I'm gonna think of Jade City. I was replying to a bunch of comments this morning on my TBR video and like half the comments were like, oh no, you're not gonna like Jade City or I love it so like you better like it, no pressure or um, I'm so excited for you to read it because it's so good. And I'm just like, so anxious. <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of pressure. This is why I haven't read it yet because I just feel like it's so hyped and then because people know that I 
often dislike hyped things. I don't know. I feel like a, a disproportionate amount of pressure as concerns New York City. So anyway, hopefully I'll start it today. I have to finish Last Argument of Kings before Sunday, but that's super doable. Um, any hoosies? Yes, that's that's where we're at with things. So I'm gonna finish breakfast and head out and listen to the Last Argument. Heidi ho I have decided I'm done with work, <laughs> which means I will check my email again in like five minutes. <laughs> but no, I'm done. It's been a long day. I'm pooped. I can't think anymore. So it's a perfect state of mind to be in to read a book. <laughs> can't think anymore. I'll read. Yeah, that's why I'm checking in because I'm gonna read. I did manage to film my wrap up for February over lunch. Knocked that out. Uh, I do still need to edit and upload it, but that's a a tomorrow problem. I have made some headway on Last Argument of Kings. I was at an hour and 49, I believe, and I'm now at six hours at like the normal speed of the audiobook. I was at an hour 49 and now I'm at six hours. So that means I listened to about, well, let's, let's round it up to a lot. Let's say I was at two hours and I'm now at six hours. So I read, I mean, I listened to four hours of it. I listened to it at three times speed. So, and it, hour and 20 minutes yes yes an hour and 20 minutes ish of listening time is that it really i thought it would be more i know it's been a long day i can't tell <laughs> anyway uh so i'm gonna start reading jade city and oh yeah the note from my patron is still in here from when she sent it to me if i remember i try to put like if a book comes with a note i put it in the book so Years on, when I'm going through my library, I can remember that once upon a time I had friends. <laughs> yes, okay, so uh, I'm gonna set a time, or uh, not a timer, but a stopwatch um, for while I'm reading, so I can, so I can know how long I'm reading. That's, that's the general idea. That's kind of what we're doing. It's the whole point of this vlog. Great, okay, cool. I hope you can't tell, like, I cannot even think. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Good morning and happy Wednesday. <laughs> Unlike yesterday when I woke up before my alarm, I snoozed my alarm 50 bajillion times this morning. Um, so, did not wake up crazy early like I intended to. But when I woke up, I did calculate my time for yesterday. My screen time went down, but not as much as I, int as I thought, honestly. So yesterday, my total audiobook time was an hour and 20. My total reading reading time was an hour and 20. And my screen time was two hour 20. So I did have more reading time than screen time because it was 
to all together two hours 40 minutes so it's only 20 minutes or more so i was like what the heck i swear i didn't which just goes to show how like it just gets you because you don't even know you're doing it so i checked like what i was doing like what were the most used apps it was instagram was the most used but i was only on instagram for 37 minutes all together throughout the whole day and i was yes and as i mentioned i was trying to schedule um when we're gonna record the podcast episodes that was a little bit of it and i was also just scheduling some other things so like that's a little bit of it and then i put a grocery order in on instacart so that was the next biggest one so instagram and then instacart and then the rest was like i was on youtube for 10 minutes boxer for eight minutes discord for seven minutes my work email for four minutes goodreads for four minutes so like it's mainly instagram and instagram was high partly because of scheduling not like just mindless scrolling so it's you know it is what it is anyway so yeah i'm having coffee now from my brand new um color changing red rising mug which is so cool it arrived yesterday so i had some tea last night from it because i couldn't resist kaz what the fuck are you doing kaz why are you up on top of my bookshelf kaz kaz look at me when i talk to you Cassie Kaz. Oh, you turn for that because I sound nice. Kaz, you know you're in trouble. Come on, why? Why? You want to get sprayed? Such a naughty kitty. As I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted by my child. I'm just drinking coffee from my very cool new mug. And I'm gonna read some more of Jade City. Cause yeah, I haven't even talked about Jade City. I made it to, um, I finished the first five chapters of Jade City. It's very early to tell obviously, but like I'm into it. And I wanted to read more, but I just got sleepy. Um, clearly I needed sleep since I went to bed kind of early-ish and then slept a bit late anyway yeah so i would like to read like a couple chapters this morning while i drink my coffee and then throughout the day and i'll do my timer again and we'll see how we do and i will not be checking my phone no 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 i did like even though i said i would set a timer to check my phone i didn't do that yesterday so i'm really gonna put my phone on airplane mode and only use it for the timer um except for like a designated time when like i'll set a timer like while i have lunch or something um, for like 10 minutes to like check but otherwise no Okay, so uh, I didn't check in when I finished with work because I just wanted to read Jade City. I am about halfway through Jade City and I'm going to read some more tonight before going to bed, but um, I'm going to go to bed now or like read in bed before bed, so I wanted to check in before I do that so I'm not like groggy and like about to fall asleep and I'm like, oh, I still have to check in. Anyway, um, so since I will have some more reading time tonight, you'll get my final count for the day tomorrow morning. 
but so far today, my physical reading time, all throughout the day and then after work is five hours. Not too bad. And then my audio booking time, I'm at 14 hours in the audiobook now. Okay, I started at six hours, I'm now at 14 hours. So that's eight hours divided by three. Two and a, a little over two and a half hours listening time and five hours physical reading time. And my screen time, I did check that earlier this evening and it was like just under an hour and a half altogether. I haven't checked the breakdown of that. Um, I did have some phone calls today. I don't know if it counts that. I guess I'll check uh, tomorrow morning. But yeah, I've mainly just been just uh, binging Drain City and will continue to binge it tonight. It is, uh, it's 9.30 p.m. Um, and I go to bed usually like 10.30 or 11, except for the nights that I'm binging something and I stay up till four in the morning. <laughs> it's only extremes here. Anyway, um, yeah, I meant to check in like earlier this evening or this afternoon, whatever, but I was just so like deep into this book. So yeah, halfway through. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna keep reading. <laughs> Today I think was much more successful than yesterday or Monday. Monday was not my fault because I had a live show. Yesterday was my fault. <laughs> Today though, it's been hell of reading. Um, so, so yeah. Anyway, that's my, my update for you. Not a ton, anyway. Yes, that's, that's all I have to say. Okay, great, okay, good night. Good morning, happy Thursday. I stayed up past midnight, or just about to midnight, reading Jade City. I went to get some water, I stopped my timer, and when I came back to start it again, I saw that it was midnight, and I was like, I guess any time that I read past now should count towards tomorrow. And then I was like, you should count towards tomorrow because you should go to bed right now. <laughs> so I was like, okay, okay, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, go to bed. So I went to bed just like just after that. So my final count for tomorrow, I calculated that before bed because I was at midnight, so that you couldn't get more final than that. So um, my audiobook time was two hours and a little over two and a half hours. My physical reading time came to 10 minutes less than seven hours, so six hours and 15 minutes. And um, my screen time was an hour and 40 minutes. Definitely better than the day before. My screen time went down by about exactly 40 minutes, but my reading time went up by a whole lot. <laughs> Which is less to do with this project, I think, and more to do with how addicted I am to this book. I have, so I, when I checked in last night, I was halfway through. Now I'm, I think uh, when I entered it on Goodreads, um, I'm at 60% now. So yeah, I only have, this much left because yeah these like darker pages I think are like either excerpts or notes yeah it's extras so like I only have this much left to go so I'm gonna finish it today I think unless something wild happens to to make that not happen like I kind of just I have some time now before work I think I mentioned that my the schedule I've set for myself which I have strayed from many times since the beginning of the year um, is that on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I wake up early and before work, I write or work on my writing. If not, not necessarily maybe writing anything, but doing work related to my writing. So I set that, set, set that time aside for that, anything to do with that. And then Tuesdays and Thursdays, I get up early before work to reply to comments on my channel, to uh, watch booktube videos and comment on them, and just like to catch up with, with that. But I didn't do any writing yesterday because I woke up late and, and then also just did some reading. Today I also woke up late because I went to bed at midnight and what time I do have before work, I just want to read. So this week, um, it's, been a, it's been a different week anyway, which I guess it would need to be since this vlog project would change matters. But that wasn't a, one of the things that it was supposed to change. Um, yeah. So I think I'm just going to read this morning and uh, I'll check in with you later.
Well, friends, um, I have finished both books now, and I only started them on Tuesday. I was, I, Monday was just finishing Ship of Destiny and doing my live show. So, um, I have still tomorrow to go and the rest of this evening, although it is, um, just after 10 o'clock, so let me go to bed. I'll probably go to bed pretty soon, but then again, I'm pretty buzzing from the end of Jade City. Lots of uh, rapid heartbeat moments, so I'm not particularly sleepy right now. My Also, I realized I never like looked at the breakdown of my screen time for yesterday, so I did look at it, and um, a huge chunk of my screen time, my most used app, was Clock. Because like I realized that like when I turn the stopwatch on to like count my reading minutes, if I don't like actively like shut off my phone, it just leaves the screen, it leaves it like lit up, like it doesn't go to sleep or whatever. Um, so like there were like multiple times where I just left it running and I was like, oh shit, I should, you know, uh, lock my phone uh, instead of letting the screen just like waste battery. But yeah, so. Uh, my screen time was actually like a lot lower than it seemed because like <laughs> big chunk of my screen time was just the clock to track my reading. <laughs> um, anyways, today's reading, my uh, audiobook time was four hours and thirty minutes, a little over four hours and thirty minutes. So I finished the last argument of Kings. My stopwatch says three hours and eleven minutes to finish Jade City. So altogether, that's seven seven and a half seven three quarters hours that I spent on reading today. Um, not, not shabby. So I guess what I've learned is that I should never use my phone if I want to get reading done, which I mean, obviously I already knew that, but it's also not realistic because I know I have so many messages that I need to catch up on um, that are just piling up. There are like hundreds of messages I have to catch up on. Um, so like realistically I can't do this every week if I want to like not be Baba Yaga. Kaz! Stop it! So yeah, two books for March already done. I guess I didn't really like pick up book three for this week because I thought between finishing Ship of Destiny and getting cracking on these would be plenty. I didn't anticipate all of this binge reading. Um, I guess my next book will be... Well, my next audiobook needs to be one of the ones I have out from the library so that I can finish it in time without before it expires. I have like four out from the library right now and they're all due around the same time. So I currently have out from the library Paper Menagerie, Bad Feminist, Warbreaker, Mordu, and Night of Seven Kingdoms. Uh, well, Warbreaker's the longest. Might do Warbreaker next. So then, yeah, that's my plan tomorrow. Not tonight. Tomorrow I will start Warbreaker on audio. And tonight, I mean, I just want to read Jade War. <laughs> it's not on my TBR and I also don't have a copy. So if I wanted to start Jade War, I'd have to like get it on Kindle, which is, which would be really silly because I ordered Jade War already, like the physical book. It just won't, well, it's not here yet. So anyway, I have plenty of books on my TBR. <laughs> I really shouldn't read Jade War, but that's all I want to do. Anyway, 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 um, yeah, I may maybe I'll start Over Enchanted next with my physical, next physical book. That or, or Blood of the Fold, because that'll take me, I don't want to be finishing that book like the morning of the live again like I did in February. Anyway, anyway, anyway. That's my update for you. Um, I'm probably going to get ready to go to bed now because it's late and I have done my reading for the day. <laughs> so, good night. Good morning and happy Friday. <laughs> so, <clears throat> as I have my breakfast, uh, I was listening to, or as I prepared my breakfast, I should say, I was listening to Warbreaker started it this morning. I am two and a half hours into the audiobook and I listened to it on triple speed so that means I have not been listening to it for an hour yet. A little over 45 minutes I guess. I listened to it while I washed my face and brushed my teeth and made my coffee and made my toast. I thought about filming a clip of me making this toast 
But when I was editing my last vlog, I realized that like every single day I made the same breakfast and filmed it. And I was like, they must be so sick of seeing this breakfast. They must be like, yeah, we get it. We know you eat this every day. And I don't actually, but like usually I get like a, not that you care about this, but like I'll get in the mode where like there's a specific food that I really, really want. And I only want that food for like a week, two weeks, maybe even a month. And then I'll be sick of it and then I'll move on to the next thing that I only want that thing for like two weeks or whatever. So for the last few weeks, this has been like my almost everyday breakfast because it's just been what I've been wanting. It goes through phases, so so sorry. Not a lot of variety with me. There's just variety over time. One thing I never get sick of is my favorite rice bowl. I could eat that every single day and sometimes I do. Anyway, <clears throat> that is not what this vlog is about. I just wanted to, I guess, justify the lack of B-roll on food because you've seen me make that toast like 50 billion times. So my final counts yesterday were for a little over four and a half hours listening, um, three hours and 10 minutes-ish physically reading, and an hour and 25 minutes on my phone. But the breakdown of how I spent that time was as follows. So on Thursday, an hour and 25, right? Um, my most used app was Instagram, but it was only 15 minutes. So I think that's very good. Then Audible, six minutes. So like that was part of reading. And then there's like a death of a thousand cuts with the others. like. I used my texting app for five minutes, used Voxer for four minutes, used eBay for four minutes, was on the phone for two minutes, the clock app, yeah, everything else is like tiny amounts that all like add up to, yeah. Anyway, so I think that's pretty good. Today, it's already a little higher. Um, I'm already at 20 minutes today. I did want to send some people some messages because I haven't been all week. So I just like quickly dipped in, like went in and went out, I was, like said my, peace and then was like bye <laughs> so many messages to catch up on this weekend anyway 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 one of the messages that i wanted to send this morning was because i started warbreaker which hillary picked for me and like we're not giving ratings until we do our live shows and so and i'm also like not going to tell her what i think of the books as i go um in terms of like liking or disliking but as soon as i started warbreaker the prologue so i don't think this is spoilery the prologue is sort of like getting you acquainted with the magic system and the main character or a main character the, the prologue's main character is like absorbing the breath which is like the magic system is breath and color based so anyway he's absorbing the like breaths of somebody else like i it's like seems like life energy life force type vibes so he absorbs them and immediately describes being like his senses being heightened and everything sort of coming alive and feeling whatever and i was like oh so he just like put on some jade because <laughs> i just finished jade city and like every time somebody either puts jade on for the first time or like acquires a new jade that's the same thing they're like my senses are heightened and like whatever so like having just like marathoned jade city as soon as he was like my senses are heightened i was like jade <laughs> so i need to like unlearn the magic system that i've been on for the last few days and now switch to colors and breaths any hoozies um yeah so i gotta get to work pretty soon yes baby cutie hi just pop your head up like a gopher we can see you. You're not fooling nobody. You gonna come up here? Yes, baby. <laughs> Hi. Yes. Hi, Cabby Cat. You come say hi. The people, they love you. They want to see you. Ooh, I had my living room window open this morning. There's a screen so she can't fall out. And she loves when the window's open because then she can watch the birds and chirp at me and complaining that she can't get to the birds. But I had to close it because it makes a lot of noise. Like you can hear a lot of the, the ambient noise from the city streets outside. So that's why she's over here now. She's been at the window all morning. But I closed the window to film this clip and she's like, Ahem, excuse me. Hi, Come here. Can you say hi? You wanna say hi? <laughs> Cassie, Cassie, they wanna see your face. Okay, bye bye. Anyway, um, yeah. So, Warbreaker, my audiobook now that I finished last argument. And then this afternoon, hey, that's my coffee. You don't want that. I will probably st 
start. River Enchanted? I know. I mentioned last night maybe Blood of the Fold. Maybe Blood of the Fold. We'll just see which one I'm in the mood for and decide at the time. Anyway, I gotta hurry up and finish my breakfast so that I can get to work. Um, but I'll check in with you later. Good morning. It is Saturday morning. Um, I meant to wrap this up last night, but then I thought that I was going to be able to finish Warbreaker and I ended up falling asleep. <laughs> Not because it was boring, just because like it was late and like it was gonna be a bit of a reach to finish it, but I really thought I could do it. Um, and obviously not. Um, but so my final count for yesterday, I just did the numbers also full disclosure this morning. I already spent like an hour, I can tell you exactly but it's over an hour on my phone already because I'm like, I can be on my phone again. Uh, the, today I've already been on my phone longer than I was for the whole of yesterday. So I was, I've been on my phone for almost an hour and a half today. <laughs> and it is still quite early. Um, that was the first thing I did when I woke up, nonstop. Okay, anyway, my final count for yesterday. Audiobook uh, was six hours and 37 minutes. Um, so I'm about 80% through Warbreaker. I will probably finish this today, although I have other things to do today, but I think I can finish it today. My physical reading time was a whopping seven minutes. <laughs> so I did start, um, ooh. I did start A River Enchanted, but I just like wasn't feeling it. So I just didn't read anymore. And then my screen time was the best all week. Like every day it went down. So I'm proud of myself, except for today, then it just skyrocketed back up. But uh, yesterday my screen time was an hour and nine minutes. That's it. So yeah, but so then yeah, today like, I've been on my phone a lot today because I had, you know, withdrawal, but also because as I mentioned during the course of this week, there were so many messages that I knew I was getting. I was like, I can't check those because I'm not done screen time this week. So like a full, at least half an hour this morning was me just catching up on like messages, just like reading and listening to them to like for a whole week's worth. <laughs> Anyway, um, so I have not pulled stats for the whole week. Does that, I mean, I guess it's, it's by the day. Should I do that? I hate, I don't want to do that, so I'm not gonna. <laughs> but what I will do is show you a screenshot that I'll post here at this time showing you my final totals for the week. I would say this was a success, uh, or at least success in terms of like getting me to get off my phone and do some reading. I mean, like, I finished, I mean, I had the more than half of Ship of Destiny to read on Monday. I read all of Last Argument of Kings and Jade City, and I almost finished Warbreaker. Like, if I hadn't been sleepy, I could have done it. <laughs> like, it was like 10.30 when I fell asleep. It wasn't like midnight or anything. So if I had been able to stay up till midnight, I would have finished Warbreaker. Yeah. <laughs> so what I've learned is that I should get off my phone. Will I in the future? next time I do a vlog like this. <laughs> no, I mean, it was kind of alarming to see the numbers. Even the times when I thought I wasn't using my phone very much, I was like, two hours, when? It just like sneaks up on you. So anyway, um, I hope you had fun. I had fun. Uh, and uh, yeah, <laughs> see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye.